Hello, there were some questions in the community as of how to produce artificial shadows or intended shadows aside the method that we have already reviewed on the texture. So how do you produce shadows with objects? In this case, I'm going to be creating a new cylinder. It's just a regular cylinder. I'm going to be assigning it a material. I'm going to be calling it transparent, no shadow. Okay, so I am working on the EV render engine, as you can see right there. I have Bloom active and also um, the shadows are set into these uh, parameters. So when the cylinder is created, you automatically get assigned a principal BSDF. Get rid of that, switch to transparent and connect it to the surface. Now you will see that the cylinder should be all transparent, but it's not doing it. Press N, come to options blend mode, alpha blend, and in shadow mode, and this is the important part, this shadow mode where it says opaque, it should be set to none. So this will not cast shadows, okay? And also uncheck show back face. And now you have a uh, transparent, just a regular transparent normal uh, cylinder. And if you uncheck shadow mode none, this is not going to cast shadow, however, this object will occlude whatever thing is inside it. So if you prefer, you can create a cube, you can create a sphere. I created a cylinder because this common shape that we can see on, on every um, part of the body, like mostly. So now I'm going to be occluding this arm right here because I want this arm to be um, in this way, but this arm is going to be occluded so I'm going to be moving that cylinder on top of the arm as you can see right there and that is it that's everything that you need to do once it's over uh, since it's completely transparent and it's not casting any shadows when you click shadow mode opaque you can see the results right here this is the final render as you can see this is my preview and I don't see anything on the preview doesn't matter but when you go to final render right there you can see it's being affected. So if I said none, and it's not going to cast in internal shadows, internal on the um, cylinder, you know, volume, if we can say it that way. So if you click on the peak, it's going to be casting a shadow from its own volume. Now you can apply this to anything you want to stylize further things for exaggerating this effect so you can see it. Okay, that's example number one. Let's go with example number two. As you know, Fixie has been one of the models that we previously used for the entire stylized 2D uh, tool shading course in Blender that I've created. And you can check uh, more information about that in the video description below. But here again, we have a cylinder. Now in this case, this setup is kind of more elaborated because we have a light already hitting her body and the volume of the leg without this technique it's going to show this and it doesn't really show like the, the the artistic approach that one could see on the on the animations uh which is to have this this uh emphasize you know as a strong pose in the leg so the leg bulks out you know the volume of the leg seems larger if we occlude the light using this kind of technique because the top part of the cylinder is occluding right there the leg you can see it right there this intersection this is what we want and this is what we're going for so if I you know drag the camera just a little bit back you can see that her entire leg is already covered and this is important because it's um, an aesthetic choice an aesthetic art choice now let's see what happens if I remove the cylinder as you can see the back leg is taking more importance than the front leg and we don't want that what we want is to have this occluded in such a way that we can see a dark space here so that the front leg is more prominent okay in terms of color composition and this is very important for anything that you have on the background let's say for example that all of this part is like uh, shadow occluded see that you can see the difference now so this is the entire light and this is the shadow now of course compositors can render out different passes that can be composite on the final render but if you want this technique on the viewboard this is the way to go thank you very much